In this video, we are going to uh, go over your setup process. Um, you're welcome to the business center process where you are first logging in and you have a couple options and some information to fill out. Um, sometimes it can be a little difficult. You might not know what you need to fill out or what you need to complete. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go over that with you. So when you first get set up, when you first get logged in, you will receive a welcome email. Uh, when you click on that link to the welcome email, uh, it will have a username and password, which you will fill out, which is also in your welcome email. Um, and then once you get that correct, it will log you in and you, it will bring up this screen here. Welcome to your business center with Drake eCommerce. And it will give you two options. Your first option is, I'm an expert, let me do it myself, which if you're an expert and you don't need any help, um, you're more than welcome to go ahead and click on that one. Uh, but most of you will probably be new to the system. You won't know what you're doing. Um, so it'll say, I'm new, so help me along. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And that's going to help us get our business set up. You can see right here it has um, our information. We're just doing it under a name, Lisa Palmer, today. Um, then it will have a daytime and a business phone. Uh, I'm just putting in a generic phone number. You, can, you should put in your number. Uh, just for the record, this is not going on the site. So the email address and the, these two phone numbers are not going on the site. That's just for your personal info in the back end. Uh, so you can put that there and you can change this information at any time. So if you put something in, don't feel, for, feel like it's stuck there because you can change it at any time and it's not going on the site. So you're fine. So once you get all green checks over here, then you'll have to change your password right here before you can move on. You won't be able to move on to the next step until you fill out all the information that is needed on that page. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a password. If it fits the criteria for the password, it'll put a green check. So you will have to follow a couple of rules. It will have to be a certain length, have special characters and things like that. So now the button is blue. I can go ahead and move forward. And now social integration, this tool you will not need at the moment. Um, so we'll just click the next step. You don't have to worry about this uh, for the time being, okay? So then I'll move you to the next step, uh, required business information. So a lot of people get caught up on the company name. Uh, this isn't going on your site either. Um, it can help you create your logo. But if you don't have a business name, if you don't have a domain name yet, don't worry. This is also, you can also go back and change this, and this is completely customizable. Um, so just for the time being, I'm just going to put Mega Mall. We'll just, we'll just put Mega Mall. Uh, so we'll have our name, the Mega Mall, right now. So uh, that is our company name. Like I said, I don't have a domain name for Mega Mall. I haven't registered it. I haven't created a business, but I'm just going to put that there for now. Um, it was founded in 2006 this year and physical location. I'm going to go ahead and just turn that off because I don't have a store, a physical store. If you do, great, fill out this information. It'll just be helpful for your business. But if you don't, uh, just go ahead and turn that off. You don't need to fill out anything else on this page. Um, if you want, you can um, customize your mission statement, uh, what makes your organization unique, uh, what is the best thing a customer has said about you. So you can fill out these basic things. Um, we filled out some stuff for you that is kind of just a little bit uh, more generic, but if you want to custom it, customize it to you and what you're kind of, you want your business to be about, you can go ahead and most definitely customize those. And again, those are completely customizable throughout his, your website, no matter what time it is, um, you can change those. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next step. I'm just going to give you a couple options for branding. Um, what we recommend is usually we set you up on the best one. Um, so don't really click anything here except for next step. And then when you do that, it'll bring you to uh, the logo generator where you logo. Um, so if you already have a logo created, if someone created it for you, if you created it somewhere else, you can go to this gray part right here where it says upload logo and you can upload it there from your files. If not, uh, we have the six different options on how you want your logo to look. I'm just going to click number two. So the name will be here. You can choose an image here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit next step. So it says Mega Mall. 
and I'll make my tagline online shopping mall. So that's your tagline. So now it updated there. You can change your font. You can change your the font of the subtext. And then right here we'll say, and then you can also change the color actually. Sorry about that. You can change the color to whatever you like. And then you can also choose an icon. So you can upload an icon if you have a custom icon. So if you don't have a logo, but like maybe a custom icon for your site, you can upload it here. Or you can choose an icon um, for the site. I'm going to let's go ahead and type in world. Um, so now we have the Mega Mall online shopping mall um, here. And that logo, let's say I like that, ready to go. We're going to go ahead and hit next step. And it'll say, please stand by. Greatness is being configured. Um, sometimes this might take a little while. Um, so sometimes you can just um, wait this out. If it's taking a little too long to configure the site, um, <clears throat> sometimes you can just go ahead and just refresh the page and it will bring up the, the business center for you. Uh, so here's the business center. This is where everything else is going to start happening. Uh, so please watch our next video on, on getting started to where we teach you to start filling out all the basic information to make sure your site will be running properly, up and running for search engines, clients, and everything there is taken care of. Uh, thank you for watching this video and we hope it helped you out.